Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my Beyond the Valley 2023 guide and tips. I went last year for four days. I did premium camping. So these are all the things that I kind of wish I knew or that I would tell other people who are going to go do it. The way the video is going to go, I'm going to just talk about all my tips, which I've also got some shorter ones on my Instagram, like my main top 10 tips and then some extra ones, go into them a little bit more. Then I'll tell you guys a bit about my experience at Beyond the Valley last year for the first time. And then at the end, we're going to go into some questions that I put on my Instagram anyone have any questions about BTV and I'm going to answer them just like as I see them. So on my TikTok, I did vlog every single day that I was there last year and give it kind of like a really honest review. So I will link those in my bio if you want to go and watch them in preparation. Um, but yeah, so full transparency. Last year I did go as like an influencer. I just, I did prom promoting and I got me and my boyfriend's um, four day passes or yeah, last year it was like just the four day ticket, which was like the pass as well as staying there general for free. But then we paid a hundred dollars extra each to get premium camping on top of that, which this year I think like the prices have changed because now it's like you can buy just day passes because some people stayed in Airbnbs and they didn't really need to actually camp. So now like the price is split and I do know that the prices went up, but I'm pretty sure it's because there's actually going to be better things in premium and stuff like that this year. Okay, my top 10 tips. So these are going off of my Instagram ones, but I'm just going to kind of talk a little bit more about them as well. Number one, pack food. Please pack food. Like last year, I don't know what I thought was going to happen, but last year I was not aware that there would be such a long walk to where the food and actual main stages were. So from where we were in premium, which is a little bit closer than general, it was a 25 minute walk just to get to where the stages and like the food pretty much was. So it's not going to be something that you're just going to, oh, I feel peckish. Let me go walk a 25 minute walk to food. Um, the food there is also, it's not too expensive, but it definitely isn't cheap. So like you're going to end up spending a lot if you're buying every single meal so i'll definitely recommend bringing food especially for like first thing when you wake up in the morning and you want to eat something but you don't want to get dressed to go out so you can bring an esky so bring stuff like up and goes juices um i brought dried epcot i literally lived off dry, dry epcot like an idiot but like you can bring trail mix um fruit any kind of food that you can like it doesn't matter if it gets hot like just crackers chips like personally i'm okay with living off of crackers and chips and biscuits and stuff, but Vita breakfast biscuits and up and goes for a few days. If you're like my boyfriend, you might want to try and meal prep some stuff that can last. Um, if you're good at camping, I'm sure you'll know what to bring, but that's just for me, guys. Bring like the Vita breakfast biscuits, crackers, you know, that kind of stuff, just so you have something in your stomach. And then I would recommend getting like one hot meal a day from, from the food trucks just to kind of, you know, eat something yummy and fill yourself up a lot. Um, number two, wear comfortable shoes. Last year, my docks, I've had them for three years. It doesn't matter. They... They tore me to shreds within the first two hours. I was covered in blisters, you'll see in my vlogs. And then I was just poorly taping it and I had to spend some nights in my slides, which just ruined my outfit. So wear comfy shoes. Last year, people were wearing ASICs, they were wearing TNs, they were wearing Converse. It is on grass like, and it is a bit dusty, so your shoes do get dirty, but it's not like you're in mud and actually need to wear docks, like as if you were like at Splendor or something like that. So I definitely recommend wearing comfy shoes and bringing multiple types of shoes in case you get blisters. Um, I do know apparently demonias are better than docks if you don't want to get blisters. Some girls at BTV actually told me that. And from my experience, it's true. Docks have always blistered me. So definitely wear comfortable shoes. Like as long as they match the outfit, like, you know, as long as they're a white pair of clothes or something, just be comfortable. Trust me because you're going to be out all day and your feet will not forgive you. I still have scars. From btv on my feet stay hydrated af genuinely like when you wake up in the morning drink a full bottle of water like you can bring water in last year they didn't mind that we brought our own water in i don't know if it's going to be different this year but you need water i would suggest bringing like those big coles bottles if you can bring them with you and just drinking water constantly even if like I wouldn't look, if you, before you go to bed, obviously drink water, but if that's going to make you need to get up at 4am and, and walk all the way to the toilet, it's probably not going to be the vibe. I would recommend bringing Hydrolite sachets and pouring them in a bottle of water every morning and just drinking that down just to make sure you have some hydration in you because it is going to get really hot. You're going to get sunburned. Even if you wear sunscreen, like you're just going to be dehydrated. Um, so try your best to stay as hydrated as possible. This is going to help you have an even better time if you're drinking or whatever, if you're hydrated. Okay. Bring fans because it gets really hot. Literally bring the fans that you can do yourself. Or if you can find the electrical battery operator ones that spray water and fan you, get them now because last year they were all sold out. We tried to, we looked everywhere for them before BTV and we couldn't find them. And I'm telling you, they are worth it. With how hot it's going to be, you're going to, you're going to want to be cooled down. Like 
Trust me, you need that. Uh, make sure you have warm clothes for nighttime. It gets cold at night. I People told me, but I didn't believe them, and I froze. All of my hot daytime outfits were all ruined at night because I literally had to, I bought this jumper. Another thing I recommend, buy a designated BTV jumper. I haven't worn this since BTV, literally, and I'm wearing it again right now for the video. Every night, I ended up putting this over all of my outfits. Now, what I will do differently this year is actually have winter outfits. Now, it doesn't mean you need to buy six outfits, but it could mean just say one outfit you're wearing a cute one day you're wearing a cute bikini with shorts. Pack a cool pair of parachute pants or something to wear at night with the bikini top instead. Or if you're more of a jacket person, maybe find a cool vintage oversized jacket that you can add to all of your outfits at night so that you don't freeze. Because generally, I froze and most of the fun shit, I feel like. Sorry if my camera keeps shaking. Not most of the fun shit, but a lot of the fun shit happens at night. Like, you're going to be raving hard at night and you're going to want to be warm um, or at least not freezing and not letting the wind like. Because, like, especially that 25 minute walk back, or if you're in general, like that 30 to 40 minute walk, it could be back. You don't want to be freezing cold walking back at 3 a.m. It's just going to make the night shitty, okay? Pack a good portable charger. Dead ass. There are charging stations in premium and lux. I don't know about in general, uh, the general area, but. The charging stations, they're not very powerful, especially because multiple people are using them. So I would suggest go and invest in a good portable charger, have it all the way filled. And you can probably use that for three days, I would say, if it's one one phone on it and your phone will be fine. Like, you don't really go on your phone that much. I do recommend taking heaps of pictures and videos, though, because if you don't the whole time, you're not going to have anything to look back on. And I love looking back at my old photos, so definitely, you know, do that. But bring a portable charger you're going to need. I feel like that's obviously, like, everyone will know to do that, but dead ass. You need a good one. Number seven, I've got be kind to everyone. I did have a couple people who weren't so, like, weren't nice or were kind of mean, but I just feel like this is, like, also it is a vulnerable place for a lot of people because we're all just in the middle of nowhere. Like, no one has, pro you know, everyone's going to be a little bit uncomfortable when they're there. Like, you know, you haven't been able to shower properly. You haven't been able to sleep good enough. You've been drinking or whatever. So everyone's pretty vulnerable and it's just good to be kind to others. Say excuse me. Don't push and shove in crowds. That's not... I mean, for me, that's not rave culture, but I don't know because at BTV, it's a lot of young people, I feel like, who don't understand. You need to be respectful. It doesn't matter how messed up you are, you know, you have to be respectful to others. So I feel like that's really important. Just be kind to everyone. You make such good friends, even just for when you're at the festival, just there and you have them on Instagram for the next two years. You make good friends. It's a really good opportunity to just connect with people. And I feel like that's what is really fun about it because there's people from all over Victoria and all over Australia. You get to meet all different types of people. It's a really good opportunity to make friends, make connections. Don't be a dickhead. Do you know what I mean? Tools at the end are fucked. Let's just be real. By the end of it, no matter where you are, the tools are going to be fucked. So bring toilet paper, bring wipes, bring hand sanitizer. Be prepared to clean yourself. Be prepared for smelly toilets. That's just what happens. If it happens one night, like, you know, if you go to like a techno event and the toilets look messed up by the end of the night, you can imagine after a four-day festival. So just be prepared for that. It's bound to happen. But yeah. Um, number nine, there will be no reception and literally no reception. So I really recommend if you're going with your friends there, make a meetup spot. Obviously, if you're camping with them, you're fine. But if you have friends who are in premium or in lux, make a meetup spot in the center. So probably where all the food trucks are, pick a certain food truck and say, guys, every day at 12 o'clock, we're going to meet here and we'll spend the rest of the time together because you will not find them otherwise. You have no reception on your phones to text people and you generally cannot find people. Like obviously make doof sticks and stuff, but it is very hard to find people. And especially on the last day, it is packed. So I would recommend just having a meetup spot. If you are traveling separately without your friends and you need to try and find each other, talk about it before where you're going to meet. Have a look at the site map, pick a spot where you're going to meet and what time and just stick to it because it is really vital. You eventually do bump into people, but... If you don't find your friends the whole time, that's going to be really shit, okay? Number 10, organize your outfits early. I've already started buying because it's at overseas right now. It's summer's ending, like America, Europe, whatever. So all the summer shit is on, on going on sale. So start shopping now. Um, this is a really good time of the year to buy. Like, just start shopping now. Trust me. And wear whatever the fuck you want to wear. Dead ass. Like, don't, don't, you know, it's so easy to say, but don't be body conscious or whatever, but... Just if there's something cute you've always wanted to wear, BTV is a place to wear it because you're out in the middle of nowhere. It's a festival. You can show as little as you want, show as much as you want. It's completely up to you. So wear that outfit that you want to wear because the photos you get and the feeling of just being in a cute fit and dancing in the sun is so amazing. And I don't really think anyone goes there to judge people. Everyone's kind of there to have a good time. I also picked up a lot of fashion trends when I was there from other people. So I feel like you're going to regret it if you don't wear the outfits you love because you're feeling a little bit like, oh, what if someone judges me or oh, whatever? Like, just do it. Trust me. 
just do it, okay? I will be there to cheer you on and tell you you look slate, okay? Some other points I have, yeah, doof sticks. Make some doof sticks with your friends. Last year, they said we weren't allowed to bring doof sticks in, but everyone had them and we easily brought them in. Just bring them in like decom decomposed, like whatever, like deconstructed. Um, But definitely make a doof stick. It's a good way to find your friends if you are like trying to find them in the crowd. And it's just a vibe to like be dancing with a doof stick, especially if you sometimes feel awkward dancing. Doof stick, so much more fun transport so last year we took the btv bus so it picked it up from like picked us up from carlton gardens we got on a bus with a bunch of people and then it took us to btv look it was all fine but it's like and, and it's and it's eight i think it was like 80 dollars last year like it's all 100 it's it's good to take the bus but just know that you're going to be waiting ages to get on ages to leave and ages for your bags to all come out so i would recommend hiring a minibus that's what me and my friends are doing there's going to be 13 of us we're hiring a minibus we're all splitting it 13 ways it's going to take us to Baruna Plains and take us home on New Year's Day. So I would recommend doing that. Otherwise, if you can drive, 100% drive, just be aware that as soon as you leave, there will be drug and alcohol buses. Literally as soon as you leave. Yes, last year we were on the bus and we were leaving and just outside the festival, just outside the festival, all the police had set up drug and alcohol buses. And you can imagine how many people they would have caught leaving BTV in the morning, the day after New Year's Eve. So... Just be aware of that if you're wanting to drive down. Obviously, be responsible. Don't drive down when you're intoxicated or anything because obviously you're putting other, other people's lives at risk. And even if you're feeling fine, you will probably get caught and it's just not going to be good. So, you know, carpool with people or organize, you know, organize a minivan, something like that. I've also got a list walkie talkies. You can invest in some walkie talkies. Everyone had walkie talkies. There's only like 50 channels or something like that. So you'd be talking and sometimes you'd be talking to other people who aren't even your friends. So it is a little bit tricky. You could get some, but don't rely on them completely, I reckon. Yeah, that's literally all I have for my tips. Now I'll tell you a little bit about my experience. So this is my first time ever doing it and it's obviously Baruna Plains first year. So everything that people told me about what to expect, I didn't really experience because it was different it was different security this year everything like that so me and my boyfriend guys bro i had the worst stomach like horrible stomach pains i think i like freaked myself out the day before because i hardly ate all day because i was busy trying to get all the camping gear and stuff oh yeah by the way with camping gear just know you're gonna have to carry it far so make sure it's stuff that's easy to hold because me and my boyfriend nearly dislocated our shoulders trying to carry our camping gear you're gonna need stuff like tents sleeping bags air mattresses um, toiletries, camping chairs, all that kind of stuff to have like a good time. If someone in your group can bring like a big marquee, I would suggest doing that and you can make like a little pre-drinks area. It's really, really fun. Rundown of my experience, but obviously go and watch the TikToks if you want to hear in detail. We did the four days, which this year we're doing three days because I think four days was a bit much. Four days, the first day it ends. All the music ends at like 10. I feel like the first day is when people for, from general and premium go just to set up and make themselves ready for the next day, which I'm glad we did, but obviously we didn't have food or anything. So the next day we were in the worst mood for the day two, which is when everyone pretty much comes. So this year we're doing three days, but yeah, last year we did four days. We got the bus there from Carlton Gardens. Then we arrived. We went through security, whatever. Then we walked ages to find a spot to set up. We were really confused about where you're supposed to set up. So Definitely ask people for help. It is confusing when you first go in if you've never done it before trying to figure out where you're allowed to set up and and it's a bit awkward setting up near people and the first day people tend to spread out. I had people asking me like, you know, if, I, if my friends are going the first day and I'm going second, am I going to be able to set up next to them? Generally on the first day, unless you're super duper close to the front, everyone really spreads out. No one's trying to be in other people's business. By the third day, people are literally setting up like tents in front of other randoms tents like that's how it is by the end but the first day you should be fine to get a spot next to your friends by the second yeah and so the first day we didn't do anything we just stayed in the tent all day lol it was like a bit weird and the next day our friends came and then from then we were just partying but my main thing was we kind of stayed at our tents the whole day and only went down to the dance area like from the evening which is one of my regrets because i feel like we could have had so much fun just in the sun dancing and stuff so this year i will definitely do that differently yeah like that was i can just i'll just insert the tiktok if you want to see what we did every day it was really fun like doing your makeup in the bathroom with other girls or like setting up a little table with a mirror and doing your makeup outside the tent like it, i don't know it was just super fun vibe also outfits most of my outfits i got i think i got from dolls kill knee high i don't know like asos like all my stuff was from all over the place there's some good the good shops i would suggest is dolls kill Tibbs and Bones, IMGR, Knee High have cool stuff, a bit more expensive, Jaded London, ASOS, you'll find so much cool festival clothes at ASOS. I feel like not many people know um, ASOS has really cool shit. Um, yeah, go to Tibbs and Bones, get heaps of accessories, get sunnies for you and your friends to match, do something where you all have matching fans or sunnies or outfits one day, like, I definitely would recommend doing that. But yeah, if you want to see my full experience, I will link the videos in the comments because I feel like it's going to take too long to get into it. Okay, now I'm going to just go onto my Instagram where a few people have asked me questions. I hope I'm not forgetting anything, but 
Honestly, if I am, I'll probably make like a TikTok closer to. All right, let's do the questions. Someone said it's so expensive budgeting tips. That's where I come in with pack your own food, buy your outfits now so you're not spending $100,000 around Christmas time and BTV. And just try throughout the year to pick up things for cheap. When you get to summer, camping gear and all that is going to be really expensive because everyone's going to start going camping. Go and have a look at Kmart. Kmart, boating, camping, fishing, see what you can get on sale, see what you can get on sale online, discount codes and whatever. That's what I would suggest. Otherwise, another thing I say is YOLO. Um, if you're going to send it this year, just don't go next year. Like, that's what I've been telling my friends. Like, like we're paying for all of our things, right? And, like, the bus and stuff like that. But we're saying, like, next year we're not going to do this. But by the time we get to next year, we're probably going to say that again. So whatever. B BTV. What is BTV? Beyond the Valley is a festival, if I haven't really explained it. I feel like if you're watching this video, you will know. It's just a festival that happens in Victoria. Four days, really cool artists. It's gonna be sick. Also, people were complaining about the lineup. Guys, the lineup is gonna be amazing if you love techno. And to be fair, you don't even spend, you don't even watch the performance of the stage. Like, we were not even running between stages. We set a dance dome the whole time. But like, by the time you wake up and go, like, you're just there to vibe. Like, you're not gonna be like, press, oh, this person, I miss this person. Like, you're just there to vibe. So, I know people were annoyed about like the lineup, but then it's like nearly sold out after pre-sales, like 85% sold out. So I feel like people are still gonna go anyway. It's gonna be fun. You're there for the memories, to have fun with your friends. Like, it, it's gonna be a vibe. Is there food available to buy? Yes, so there is gonna be food trucks literally all day. There's coffee, all that you can buy, but I will definitely recommend packing some of your own stuff because it's gonna get pretty expensive. What are things to bring that I might not think of? Bring sunscreen, bring sunnies. Um, obviously toiletries, I feel like everyone would know to bring toiletries. Wipes, flushable wet wipes. So wipes that you can like clean yourself with. If there's no toilet paper, I feel like people already know to bring toilet paper though. Obviously pillows, blankets, air mattress, air mattress pump if you don't have one, if yours isn't self-inflating. Camping chairs, definitely. Um, towels, we nearly forgot our towels. A pair of thongs to wear in the showers there because they do, they are pretty, like can be pretty gross by the end. What's one thing we must take? Portable charger, 1000%. Oh, and a lock for your tent. Get a lock for your tent. Even if it's a shitty lock, it's better to have your tent locked than nothing at all. We didn't have anything stolen or whatever. I didn't hear any horror stories about people having things stolen, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Do you have to be drunk on drugs to enjoy it? No, it's like where you are, it's like there's just so much happiness from just being out in like just grassland, nothing else around, music playing, the vibes of everyone being around, the sun, like Everything is such a happy vibe. You can literally be 100% sober the whole time and still have a good time, I guarantee you. Was the camping comfortable? It was fine. I'm not a camper. Um, it's as comfortable as you're going to make it, as much stuff as you're willing to bring. Um, but I definitely wouldn't say it was like super comfortable, but I wouldn't say it was uncomfortable. But I'm not a camper. I don't enjoy camping. So that was my first time camping. Proper. Sleeping in a car or tent, what do you think is best? Sleep in a tent. Don't sleep in your car. I feel like you'll get a sore back. Like sleep in your tent with the air mattress. How do you stay clean and have good hygiene there? So I had the showers. Every morning we would wake up really early to go shower so that we had like, because the shower line would get big. We would shower every morning. Quick showers. Don't be selfish and have a 30 minute shower. People would be in the showers for ages. Couples would come out after being there for 30 minutes. What are you doing in there? Bro, we all need to rinse our bodies. So, and also wet wipes. Cleaning my face every night. And if you have a spare bottle to kind of use that water to brush your teeth with and wash your face with so you don't use the water there. I mean, at, at one point, I did end up just using the water in in the portable um, toilet. Like, not the portable toilets, but like the, like the bigger toilet. Because like, you know, if you, you got to do what you got to do. And by the end, you honestly don't care about hygiene. Like, you're just like, whatever. But you, it's definitely a lot easier to stay clean than you realize. Like, I thought going in there, I was going to be disgusting and grubby. I was fine. How many nights do you stay and do you stay in tents? We stay in tents, literally for the four days, three days, two days, one day. I wish there was cabins. I was thinking it would be so cool if they had like a thing where you can literally like, they always have it there so they can like actually put land, like cabins and like almost like a household kind of thing. Where, I don't know. It would be really cool. But I think it's still a vibe that you do um tents. Outfit inspo. I have my BTV fits from last year. I'll insert some pics. Those are for outfit inspo. Definitely two pieces. I think two pieces always go to because it just matches and it looks cute. Otherwise, super baggy pants and a bikini top. Keep it simple. Don't spend thousands of dollars on the clothes because you will probably only wear it once. A lot of my BTV stuff, I wore it for BTV and that's it because it was kind of just like attached to BTV. And then I sold it to people who want to wear it like, you know, to something else. Don't spend thousands of dollars, but definitely wear some cute shit. Okay. That is all, guys. That's all for my tips. I don't think I have literally any other tips. Um, otherwise, I feel like leading up, I will definitely give you guys on my TikTok like packing lists, makeup kind of ideas. Like I got my lashes done. So basically my makeup was just like really basic face shit. 
Honestly, I, this is up to you, but I did makeup every day because I didn't want to look back and like look disgusting in photos. Not that I look disgusting, but you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I know some people just like, oh, they didn't care about wearing makeup. I personally wanted to wear makeup every day and, and I enjoyed wearing makeup every day. I definitely recommend getting your lashes done or something so you don't have to worry about anything else. Yeah, bring a speaker so you and your friends can like, you know, have a good time. Bring card games, bring board games, because sometimes during the day, if you're just drinking, like it, it's fun to like play, you know, card games and whatever, like the vibes. And yeah, that is all my tips I have for you guys. Again, my experience will be linked in the bio with all the different TikToks. I had a really great time last year. I'm really excited this year. It's going to be so much fun. And if you see me, please come up to me and have a boogie with me, okay? I'm going to put a TikTok up of what my... A couple days before, I'll do a TikTok of my doof stick so everyone... Like last year, I did my Hello Kitty so people knew where to find me. But I will do it again. I'm going to try and have something that's really individual because there was like seven other Hello Kitties last year. I was like, bitch. How dare you? Anyways, that is all. Hope you guys got the answers you were looking for from this. I will definitely post a packing list closer to the date. Okay, love you all. Mwah.